we will see the reflection explained by wave theory. This is a mirror, a plane mirror and according to wave theory, a wave front is approaching the plane mirror. Here is the wave front and it is approaching the mirror. The direction of propagation of the wave front is this. This is direction of and the red one are the plane wave fronts. Now when the wave fronts are approaching here, this is the point where first wave front strike. Let us call this point A. Okay. Now this wave front is here. All these points are there uh, to make secondary waves. Now here is one measurement that is angle of incidence. How do we measure angle of incidence in cases of waves? You see there are two surfaces. One is the surface of interaction, this mirror, this is one surface. There is another surface of the wave front which is coming and striking it. This is the surface of wave front which comes and strikes it. There is an angle between the two surfaces that is known as angle of incidence. So where is angle of incidence here? So answer this is angle of incidence between surface and surface. But in the previous time you have heard that this is angle between normal and the ray. Was that a different incidence angle? Answer is no, that was not a different uh, angle of incidence. Same. How it is same? That was the angle between the direction of the propagation and the direction of area surface. Again, the angle between the two directions. Here it is the angle between two surfaces, not the directions. What is the direction of an area? If this is an area, then this is direction of the area vector perpendicular to it. So mirror has an area and perpendicular to the mirror, perpendicular to the mirror, this is area vector. We can say normal to this. And what is normal to the wave front? This is normal to the wave front. So this is normal to the wave front. This is normal to the surface on which it is striking. So the angle between the two normals, we, we are calling it angle of incidence. That is direction of the ray and perpendicular on this. Now we can very well prove that this surface normal, this surface normal, angle between the surfaces I, therefore angle between the normals will also be I. So there is no difference. Angle of incidence whether it is counted in wave optics or in ray optics, it is one and the same thing. Please remember it, but here we take it as the approaching surface and the striking surface. The angle between them is angle of incidence. Okay. Now, what happens when this stage has reached? After this, according to Huygens principle, again all the points become active and they act as source. So this point also act as source and it starts making its own wave. How does it make? This way. Now, because this is this medium is not a transparent medium, therefore these disturbances cannot travel on this side. So the waves keep on propagating in this direction. This becomes their front direction of propagation. If we want to see what is the direction of propagation, then we will have to draw perpendicular on this wave front and we will see the direction of propagation. Okay. 
what happens to this source this is also making secondary wave fronts like this 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 and it is also proceeding after some time this disturbance this disturbance this disturbance reaches this point this is point b this okay rather let's call this point b and this strikes at this point c b reaches c and this travel takes a certain time t the velocity of this travel that is velocity of light is v so the distance is equal to velocity into time so what is this length bc is equal to vt okay now it has traveled in time t to a distance vt all this time this was also traveling new wave new wave new wave new wave and after time t we stopped it after time t we stopped it and found where is the disturbance and we found that this disturbance has reached a certain uh, say common tangent and that common tangent is at this point here it is if this has travel distance vt this has also travel distance vt and this way this way this way this this distance wave front was here then here then here then here then here then here finally here and how much is this distance this is the same distance as vt this disturbance reached here in time t this disturbance reached here in time t so now finally we find the wavelet because of this disturbance here because of this disturbance here and where is the wave front answer join all these by a tangent join the disturbances with a tangent that gives the wave front so this disturbance is here this disturbance is here and we draw a common tangent this common tangent this gives the new wave front and what is the angle between wave front and the direction of propagation answer it is right angle so this is a right angle now this is a right angle and this goes on increasing in this direction this is a wave front now it is a wave front which is moving in this direction so in another one second this moves here again this moves here after certain time this disturbance when it reaches here it makes wave front like this this time plus this time this time wave front reaches from here here and from here they make the new wave front and reach here this time is again t so this is the direction this is the direction and this and this all makes a new wave front now this wave front keeps on moving in this direction parallel to itself this is the direction of propagation and wave fronts are made at the same time when this disturbance is here this disturbance is here how much is this distance same as this distance vt this is also vt this plus this is vt so at time t the disturbance because of this point is here no because of this point the disturbance is here because of this point the disturbance is here because of this point the disturbance is here and when we here and when we join all these points this after time t 
after time t, after time t, we get this wavefront. And after that, again for one instant, after one instant, this disturbance is here, this is here, this is here and this is the common tangent. In this way, it keeps on moving in this direction. Now, this wave front, when it started, this, this is the first wave front which was formed after reflection. Why? Till this time, no other wave front was there because this was moving and it reaches here. Now it is a full wave front. Till that time, there may be this partial one this may be partial one. So this is reflected wave front. Now this reflected wave front again with the surface makes certain angle. Let us call that this angle is R. We will call it angle of reflection. So angle of incidence is this much. The wave front with mirror. This wave front reflected which is going in this direction this makes an angle here and this angle is angle of reflection. So, this is how the new wave fronts are made and the new wave fronts move in this direction because they could not move here the mirror material does not allow it to enter. So, they form waves and those waves make a common wave front which keeps on moving in this direction. You will find that the, it does not move here or here. It moves only in this direction. This is the common wave front we can make. So, this ensures that there is a reflection. If there is a reflection, then where are the angles? These are the angles. Now we have to prove that these angles are equal. And it is very easy to prove A, B, C. Let us give this name D. So, in triangle A, B, C and triangle A, D, C. A, B, C and A, D, C. A, C is common. These two angles are right angle. And third thing, B to C is the distance VT and A to D is the distance VT. So AD uh, in this triangle, in this triangle, AD, AD is equal to BC. And these three conditions make it congruent. congruent triangles. Now if these two triangles are congruent triangles then all the things will be same. So this side is Vt, this side is Vt. What is the angle opposite to this side? I. What is angle opposite to this Vt? I. What is angle opposite to this Vt? R. Therefore, angle I is equal to angle R. That means angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. Proved. So, with help of wave theory, we proved two things. Number one, the disturbances which are approaching in one direction, they change their direction. By the time this disturbance reach here, this disturbance will reach here and the common tangent will be here, not here. So this common tangent keeps on moving forward. This action is reflection. And by geometry, we have proved that angle I is equal to angle R. So, wave theory is sufficient to prove the laws of reflection. 
So, in the next lecture we will see can wave theory prove refraction trends or refraction rules. Thank you.